Hi, it's Steffi from Steffi's Beads and Bobbles, and this is video three, opening the wonderful box from Karen. I just cannot get over all these amazing and beautiful items. Here is a gorgeous string. It looks like a necklace. I think maybe this person made it, because it looks like some of the stuff she was purchasing. And these beads are exquisite. They've got a gold wash on them, and they feel heavy. They are either crystal or glass. Beautiful. I mean, just absolutely stunning. But the, here's the clasp. Just beautiful. And then some gorgeous wire I can use. Never have enough of that. Oh, look at this little gift bag. I guess this was a free gift that uh, this person that gave it to Karen... It was either them or a relative of theirs. I can't remember. If Karen is watching this, she could probably jump in and tell us a little bit more about it. But this is a little uh, gift bag. The Savorsky Elements. Look at all those beautiful little Savorsky crystals. Wow. That's a pretty generous gift. Yeah, it looks like those might be the beads. I don't know. That is stunning. Oh, excuse me if I cough. I asked Karen for her permission to uh, share this, and she said yes. Look at these. I'm always looking for good quality hooks. And here's some more of the Savorsky elements in a gold, gold uh, plated. Stunning. Oh, look at some pretty little jump rings and some uh, head or loop pins. And look at that beautiful um, toggle. And then here is some more wire and oh, more jump rings, four millimeter. Those are nice quality too. Very nice kind of falling around but I'll get them collected. These are six millimeter. I hear some uh, lobster claw. Always wonderful. Um, aren't these pretty? Class pewter toggle. That's really gorgeous. Wow. Uh, some more jump rings. Look at that class. That'd be fun for um, steampunk. It's kind of got like a really cool design on it. Can you see that? Really neat. Here's some more jump rings. A toggle clasp. A pewter. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Maybe a kind of bead cap for a flat bead. Some more uh, jump rings. Look at those. Oh my gosh. It says closed, but that's fine. I can figure a way to use those. Those are stunning. And uh, here's some miscellaneous pieces. Some chain. That's always handy. I just went through a bunch of my chain and got it all bagged up. This is curb chain, which I love curb chain. Necklace and light gold. That's what I use for all my bracelets. This curb chain usually. Now this is an interesting clasp. Oh, it's two clasps, I think. Yeah. Pewter crystal. Aren't those stunning? It's like magnetic clasps. Those are pretty. Some more jump rings. More jump rings. Some more jump rings. Wow. Okay, we're only at four minutes. We can open another bag up. Let's see what's in this bag. Move this stuff out of the way. Let's see. Oh, silver plated. Oh, I think they used to call these liquid silver when I was younger in the 70s. I think they called these liquid silver. Does anybody else remember that? Look at them all. 
Oh, wow. Except I think those were pure silver. These are silver plated, which I'm not going to split hairs. That's just as cool. And then here's some more of those beautiful spacers. Nice and big and sterling silver. Just gorgeous. And here is some beautiful little turquoise beads, it looks like. Let's see, gemstones. Let's see what it says. Keeping this at about 10 minutes. We're at 5 minutes. A little over. Let's see. Uh, turquoise. They paid 20. Well, I don't know. It says 22 and 12. Is there two different things? No. So I don't know what this was. This was the 12. So I don't know what the 22 is, but that's gorgeous. So we'll keep it in its little bag. I'm truly grateful to get something beautiful like that. I love turquoise. Here's some more of those silver plated beads. Oh, I love these beads. I bought some of these at Hobby Lobby. These are gold-plated metal beads. They're Hobby Lobby from 2010. Wow. Looks like those little crimp beads. They were a gift. Some more. I just bought some of these from Hobby Lobby. I love that style of bead. Uh, crimp beads. I used to make rings out of those. I'll do those for you guys one day. Slide a bead chain. Oh, I made so many necklaces out of this stuff. But it wasn't Hobby Lobby because we didn't have that back in California when I was doing jewelry. I wish we had. These are metal head pins, Blue Moon. Really pretty. They got like a nice decorative bottom on them. Here's a gorgeous. Maybe this was the other piece of stone. I don't know. But it looks like a lapis. Gorgeous. And then here is, uh, I don't know if this, what is this? This says $20. Yeah, these each say $20. But they don't say what they are. They might be lapis too. Here's a single bead that's gorgeous. Oh wow, look at those. Carlin, 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 Car, Carnelian. I've heard that word. Auntie's Beads, November 2003. Aren't those stunning? Let me see if I can get them under the light. Wow. These are... I'm not going to pronounce that. Oval. Wow, aren't those beautiful? Oh, wow. And look at these. Oh my goodness. i got to pull these out to look at them. They're stunning. Here's one of them that's out. Look at that. It looks like almost glass and acrylic. Like they poured acrylic over it or something. I don't know, but they're beautiful. There's four of them. Oh, one's broken, it looks like. Let me see. Are these small? Oh, no. There's four small ones and two big ones. Wow, those are gorgeous. Look at this. I don't know. It's a piece of shell, I guess. Yeah, abalone. Yeah, a little piece of abalone shell. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this stone. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. And here's one of those donuts. I have a few of these in different colors. That's really pretty in the black. Here's this black bead. These are, are these post earrings? Yes. They're six millimeter round amethyst earring posts and you have a loop on the bottom to hang something off of them. So that's two pairs of earrings that are posts that you can make into a uh, dangle. How cool is that? And then these are crimp beads. All different kinds of crimp beads. That is super cool. Wow. I'll pull one more thing out of this other bag. See if we can get it up to 10 minutes. Oh, she must have sent me some jewelry for... Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. Are those sewn on? I think so, look at So we can harvest those. Beautiful, beautiful. Either black or navy blue beads. Oh, comparing those, I love paper beads. 
I just love them. And look at that. That's the second one I've gotten that has a beautiful pendant on it. These are all painted a yellow color. I think I have a red set like this. And I love the brass piece. That's stunning. Look at that. Okay. Well, we're going to call it quits there. We're at 10 minutes, and I'll do one last video with what's left. So I hope you'll continue to watch each week as I open another little section of these of this beautiful box from Karen. Look at this necklace pattern. Wow. That'd be a good uh, crystal. I was, I was designing something like that to do for Christmas. Something similar to that. To making kits. A little bit different. But I'll be back. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. And again, Karen, thank you.